now justice has been delivered and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. But no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. In a big win for US President Joe Biden, Ayman al-Zawahiri, the chief of Al-Qaeda who succeeded Osama bin Laden, was killed in a US drone strike in Afghanistan at 7.18 a.m. Al-Zawahiri was the key ideologue behind the global terror network for decades. Al-Zawahiri became Al-Qaeda's leader in 2011 after Osama bin Laden was killed by US Navy SEALs. After taking on as a chief, Zawahiri was trying to rebuild Al-Qaeda in partnership with Afghanistan's Taliban. Zawahiri first came to international attention after the assassination of Egyptian President Anwar al-Sadat in 1981. He was one of the masterminds involved in the assassination. In the past few years, al-Zawahiri had lost a succession of deputies in US airstrikes, which had hampered his ability to coordinate globally. A trained surgeon, before al-Zawahiri took on the reins of the Al-Qaeda, he was Osama bin Laden's advisor and physician. In fact, Al-Zawahiri was in the news in India recently when he supported Muskan over hijab controversy in Karnataka. While Joe Biden has demonstrated American resolve to eliminate terrorism, Al-Qaeda may now face succession crisis as Zawahiri provided an ideological direction to Al-Qaeda for years.